Emma Loop. I just completed the swim to survive test. So basically, you're sitting on the side of the pool and you have to roll in head first. It's supposed to simulate some sort of accident, like falling off of a boat or off of a dock into the water. It disorients you as you fall into the water. You have to find your way back up and then tread water for one minute. Once you're done treading water for a minute, the lifeguard will tell you to swim all the way to the end of that pool, uh, the end of the pool over there, and then swim back. And you're not supposed to stop. Uh, and that's because most uh, drownings happen five to 50 meters away from the shore. So um, they want people to be comfortable treading water. Um, reorienting themselves in the water and then swimming to what would be the shoreline. And it was, uh, it was harder than I expected. Um, I thought that it would be pretty easy, you know, just swimming one length of the pool. But after treading water for a minute and then continuously swimming there and back, um, you get pretty tired.